Hi, welcome to the Kletpertis Digital World Atlas, a comprehensive atlas with 180 maps in it, set up by regions and topics. Here's just a small example of all the regional maps available under each continent and for the world. Each one shows you a thumbnail as you go across it. Here's an example of a world map showing energy resources. Again, notice all the thumbnails as you, as you go across them. Here's a map showing ethnic diversity by continent. Here's a good way to show distances. This is the world from Washington, D.C., showing radius rings from the capital of the U.S. Another example is the kind of map that this thing covers is uh, eco zones. It even has pictures to help illustrate the different types of eco zones. Look how quickly you can zoom in and pan from one continent to another to compare one ecozone with another. You can zoom way in on the pictures and really bring to life the definition of each ecozone. And you can zoom in on the legend to really help your students see what the coloring of the map means. Another great feature of the Colette Purdy's World Atlas is the ability to mark up the maps. can choose to mark it in any one of half a dozen different colors and you can change the line thickness of the color as well. Here's an example of one in yellow with a smaller thickness. Then after you mark up the maps to show the sort of thing you want to see on the map and so that it's ideally suited for whatever lesson you're teaching that day you can save that map with the markups on it as a JPEG that can be inserted into a PowerPoint when you prepare your lesson. You can also look at all the maps by topics and within topics by subtopics. There are maps on world development. And again, notice all the thumbnails to help you s select the right one. There are maps on economy. A great way to teach world geography. And of course, they're broken down by continent as well. Here's an example of maps by ethnography, showing the religions of each continent on a world map. And cultural regions. Of course, you can also look at the physical aspect of the world. Here's a map showing different landforms. The detailed physical features as they relate to a region.
And of course, it wouldn't be complete without a very detailed physical world map. physical world map also shows elevations of the highest peaks in each area. The other advantage to this program is that you can look at maps regionally. Here's a focus map on Europe, showing physical Europe. Or Europe from an environmental perspective. Or Europe from a political perspective. Here's an ethnic map of Europe, showing the ethnicity and languages of each region. And these are available for each continent. And here's a climatic map 